Welcome back. You with us here on Opening Fire. Uh, Ujjiv on financial services, recent entrant into the secondary markets, uh, came out with numbers. Mr. Samit Ghosh is managing director and uh, chief executive officer uh, at the company. He is joining us uh, on a phone line from Bangalore. The stock has come off the highs, but it's still up 11%. Mr. Ghosh, thank you for your time. Appreciate you uh, joining in uh, right now. So, we had numbers for the f uh, numbers till uh, the, uh, the first half. Uh, now you've declared numbers for the second half as well, uh, right. the fourth quarter, the full year. We've got all the numbers. Could you just uh, describe the performance overall, qual qualitatively? We've got numbers, total income up 67%, profits have grown to 177 crores compared to 76 crores in financial year 15, so very strong growth. But just uh, qualitatively, how is business done and how do you see things panning out? Yeah, qualitatively, you know, this uh, business is largely about scale and bringing your operating expenses and costs down. And in the last two years, we've actually invested a lot in uh, expanding our infrastructure in terms of branches, etc. At the same time, investing in technology, bringing our costs down. And uh, over the last two years, I think you're seeing like a purple patch, you know, in terms of uh, our growth, both on the top line in terms of AUM and also in terms of profitability. So it's a largely a result of uh, the scale of operation, uh, which actually has impacted our profits this year, you know. Hmm. Uh, what What is the... Uh Assets under management grown too as at the end of uh, March 31st compared to the previous year end? Uh, the uh, AUM is about 5,400 uh, crores, uh, you know, and it has grown by 65%. 65% and you're saying this is largely a function of uh, you entering newer geographies, new markets? Well, uh, you know, we are spread across 24 states and union territories and we had already, I mean, we had opened a number of branches in the last two years in, the, in these territories, you know, and it's basically these, uh, that investment which we've done in the last two years in terms of our distribution reach, which is now generating growth both in terms of AUM, which it, it did in the previous year, the AUM actually grew about 100% the previous year. And this year it's grown by 65 percent. But uh, the greater, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the growth, what we see this year is in the profitability, which is a function of uh, really enjoying the fruits of scale. Right. Uh, okay, fair enough. Now, uh, could you just uh, also tell us what, I mean, this AUM is, uh, how much is it? microfinance, how much is it uh, lending to small and medium enterprises? I mean, so, how does that uh, break up? Yeah, about 88% of our, uh, 80, uh, around 88% is in the uh, group lending, you know, in the microfinance, the classical microfinance. And uh, about uh, 12, between 12, around 12 to 15% is in the um, uh, micro SME and the housing business. That's the, roughly the division. And the growth, uh, very frankly, is uh, we've, uh, you know, we are focusing more, more on the micro SME and the housing for the future. So that's where, our, even though it's a small base, our uh, AUM has almost doubled in that area, and we expect that to continue. And over time, you know, there will be an equal balance between group lending and uh, the MSME and housing. Is that because uh, you don't have uh, too much competition there? I mean, uh, the is micro and small lending, uh, small enterprise yeah, lending. That's a, I mean, the bigger banks new, don't want to touch these customers, so you have a bit of a yeah clear the, field. Yeah, that's a Sorry. new area, uh, and uh, that's largely unserved today. You know, both by banks and by other institutions, compared to the group uh, microfinance business, which is now fairly competitive across the country by various microfinance institutions and some banks. Typically, uh, for these small enterprises, what would be the size of the business you're lending to be, sir? Uh, you know, the micro enterprises are really, really very small, you know. I mean, uh, they're, they're to, uh, you know, uh, I mean, we would be...
giving them somewhere around 1 lakh 2 lakhs you know kind of uh, this thing the turnover is very small they are basically small very small businesses in trading service manufacturing you know so <clears throat> these are small What businesses but they keep graduating as you move along and we are actually also building our skill set to uh, service the higher uh, turnover business segment which is, which falls under the uh, small business uh, segment right i have i have uh, uh, you know mr sushil choksi here who also has a question for you sir go on sushil sure with uh, congratulation i have always known you as a consumer banker and you've done a great job at ruji and i had a small question what would be your average ticket uh, on a total and secondly you said you are 24 states how many locations and can you tell me last year to this year how many employees have you added so your growth visibility is more on technology or only human that i would like to understand because you've de risked all india so i would rather understand that better so we have uh, 470 branches uh, across uh, four, uh, 469 branches across india and uh, our staff uh, growth in the last two year, last year has been about 1000 i think between uh, uh, we grew by about 1000 employees Thousand so total employee strength and what would be yes, average? Total employee uh, strength is about eight thousand. Eight thousand. What would be your average realization? I uh, mean, your uh, interest on average on all the loans. Oh, yeah, I mean, average. Uh, I mean, the group loan size is about twenty-two thousand. Uh, I wouldn't. I mean, uh, by average, you mean what average uh, of the? Uh-huh. What are you charging customer? So uh, we are charging uh, the group lending is about twenty two percent. And what uh, the small MSME and housing loans? Uh, MSME uh, the housing which is secured is about fourteen point uh, you know fourteen point five, and uh, the your MSME is around twenty. Right, Mr. Ghosh, uh, is there is there? since you're lending to a group which is in a way with little banking or financial history banking history in that sense and that's why large banks don't want to enter the space it's a large untapped market you may have a clean feel but are there uh, what are, do you see any risks going ahead i mean how does one prevent those uh, uh, yeah, pitfalls no, which are there but the one has to lending see group lending is probably more competitive today because you have large number of microfinance institutions serving that market there are very few banks which are in that market but there's a very large number of microfinance institutions you know uh and uh, so uh, uh, the other thing is in terms since the crisis in 2010 uh you know uh, all our customers we Uh, actually now lend on the basis of a credit bureau report so all of them virtually have credit uh, uh, a credit history you know so from that perspective uh, things have changed dramatically where earlier pre 2010 when there were no credit bureaus uh, you know we uh, didn't have any data on the customer to uh, today we have a lot of customer history based on which we lend and also we ensure that we comply with the rbi regulations in terms of not more than 2 mfis lending to an individual customer and they have a 100000 uh, limit to individual customers so we have to uh, we uh, pull out a credit bureau report check all those so that we ensure that we are in compliance with uh, rbi regulation and also we can see their history so i think today in terms of this segment uh, probably is uh, has better history than any other segment <laughs> especially large corporate <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> thank you very much mr gosh appreciate you joining in good speaking with you and good luck uh, very strong performance and uh, uh, you know wanting uh, to grow the micro and small enterprise segment and uh, the entire portfolio which is now 88% microfinance group lending uh, it will be more balanced between that and small enterprise lending we'll take a quick break here we've got mr nitin patel executive director at uh, sadbhav engineering joining us uh, on the other side is the bidding intensity as far as road projects go 
in the hybrid annuity scheme uh, getting uh, too hot, too many players. Uh, we'll understand that with Mr. Patel back in two.